thank you for being so neutral. Yeah, I I'm surprised anyone goes on these stations anymore to deal with this crap. Okay, you want to get real news, you come right here to TYT. I guess that's why we're beating CNN all over the internet. So don't let them steal your life. I figured I'd better take this as serious as they do. So lately, the TYT network has been less than stellar. Um, a lot of you guys, I know I'm speaking to the choir, but this is for people that might stumble upon this, upon this video. A lot of you guys know that you don't watch TYT, but the problem that I have is I haven't, I haven't actually owned a TV in over 15 years, and I get most of my information and news from online as most millennials do. And the problem that I have is everybody's fighting for what they should watch. You know, what's what's true. And everybody's trying to sell their bullshit instead of just talking about what's real. And I'll link in the description below some uh, a video, two videos. Um, not, I mean, I, you guys know that they're, they're becoming very feminist, you know, I mean, all the, all the guys on there are white knights, manginas, you know, that kind of stuff, and, uh, we got, uh, you know, the John Iderola guy, you know, and, you know, we got, uh, Anita Sarkeesian on there, and, uh, you know, all the other feminist uh, people that are talking about that. Oh, just, just a second. What? No. I didn't know. No. She's the same person, isn't she? No? Oh, okay. I thought she was the same person. Okay. Actually, it's uh, Annis Kasparian. So, um, yeah. Anna Kasparian has been talking a lot. Uh, about 70% of TYT Network's uh, shows lately are all um, feminist related, trying to push an agenda. You might notice that there's been no video done that uh, Bill Cosby got off. That Bill Cosby was... Uh, acquitted of all charges. Do you think you'll see anything about that? I wouldn't count on it. Then, um, the latest thing, you, you would think that they have a lot of people that are doing their research, but apparently not, because the problem that I got is they did a they did a video, which I'll link in the description below, where they talked about the Zika virus. And uh, another guy called the Cobert Report, he did another video where he showed that it was completely debunked and that it was actually being uh, predicated by the pharmaceutical industry, trying to sell the antibodies and the uh, drug to cure it and that there was actually no disease, you know. So this is a, this could be easily shown to be a fake, a false flag or whatever you want to call it, if they did a little bit of research. But instead, they throw the narrative out there because they think it's a good story and they're not checking the back story, which tells you they're a lot like Fox News, you know. If you're going to be giving news to millennials, you might want to think a little bit and you might want to look at the backstory and find out if it's true. Now they they're known for throwing out the stupid stories of the uh 
the uh, wage gap myth, which has been disproven hundreds of times. They can they continue to talk about it. They continue to talk about uh, mutilation of women of their genitalia in Africa, yet they never once talk about the mutilation of, of boys in America. Um, they talk about homeless women and homeless military veterans, but very rarely talk about the fact that 90% of homeless are men, you know. They, they constantly uh, talk, when they've talked to people that are part of the men's rights and part of the MGTOW, they will make fun of them, just like Fox, just like CNN. They try to act like, they even say, like, well, some of the stuff they say has a point. Some of it. Not all of it. Some of it. You know. So, uh, I, uh, I used to watch almost every episode that they put out until I've noticed in the last uh, six to seven months. They've actually started going downhill and more and more of their episodes lately, especially in the last like six months, have been towards like feminism. Everything they're talking about is like feminist ideology and pushing a feminist agenda, which is why uh, their entire network is junk. It's trash. But there's just two people that I trust in the TYT network. One left, the other's still there. But he has a backbone, and you can tell that he's not pushed around. The first one, who obviously had something happen, but he's never really talked about it much, they kind of, uh, you know, he doesn't come on their show, and they don't talk to each other, it seems like, anymore. But that would be the Rubin Report, you know. Uh, the guy from the Rubin Report, he's gay, and uh, he started his own show, and he got off their network. I could only imagine that it was from things like this, because now that he's got off of their report, he's started talking to people that came on TYT that uh, Jim Kuger uh, made look bad. And he's brought him back on his show and had them tell the real story. And he's also brought on a lot of anti-feminists, which tells you... Uh, Maybe he wasn't uh, meshing well in the TYT staff because they're all a bunch of uh, feminist white knight simps. So, and the other one that I really have a lot of respect for, sometimes he says stupid shit, but most of the time he's on point. And that's uh, the guy from Secular Talk. He's a very, I respect him a lot. He says a lot of stuff when he talks about something. He actually uh, seems to have researched it. Uh, he seems to be well read and he uh, doesn't talk out his ass. And if he's called out on something, he responds back and tells people like uh, he said it, he said something wrong. Unlike TWT, where they just tell, unless you pay and get on their site and pay somebody, then they don't really care what you have to say. They just make fun of you uh, on TYT, you know. Because the viewers don't mean much to them anymore when you have, you know, you know, you ask the Fine Brothers, you know, when you have like over 2 million subs, you don't really care what anybody has to say anymore because you think your house isn't going to fall down, you know. Ask, ask the Fine Brothers about that. So, um, like I say, I figured I'd come on and be as serious as, as I could about this topic, you know because uh, they take it so serious. So I figured I better. Um, yeah, if you got any questions, comments, leave them in the section below. And thanks for watching. Have a nice day. I'm ready to go in, coach. Just give me a chance. I know there's a lot riding on it, but it's all psychological. I ain't trying to prove shit to you, bitch. Want to fight? So don't let them steal your life